So as you can see, this thing is dead. It is dead. Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how I fix my LED ceiling lamp over here. So as you can see, I have already already found the faulty string of LED, which is these two over here. So if we were to follow the copper trace on this board properly then you will be able to see that these two LED that every two LEDs are connected in parallel and they are connected in twos then the rest of them are just connected all in series like this the voltage drop of each string of LED is typically around 3 volts that's why I can use one of these to test each and every single string so positive here and negative there and as you can see I can light up that single string of LED with these batteries over here so that's working and that's working and this is working working So I will keep repeating this test for every single s string of LED that is connected in series. So as for the defective string, I just use this piece of wire. I just solder this piece of wire as a bypass as a bypass wire so that the current will be able to bypass the 40 LED and complete the circuit because they are wired in series and that's how I make it work again and as for the LED driver as you can see over here the voltage rating of this driver is not a constant value it has a range of values because Typically, LED will draw a different amount of current at different temperatures. So, therefore, they has to they have to be driven with a constant current source. So, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, 15 LED strings in series so when this LED lamp is normally working the voltage required to drive the lamp is around 45 volt or the voltage to at least light up all the LEDs LEDs on that plate is around 45 volts but as I said that LED drivers are constant current source drivers. So I will wire up. Anyway, I have tested this LED driver and it works fine for me. Turning on, 3, 2, 1, oops, didn't work. Apparently there's no proper connection.
Make sure it's nice and tight. And turn it on. And there you have it. It works again. It works except for this particular string of LEDs that is actually damaged. So without the bypass wire, no current can flow through this string of L this string of LED and therefore render it not being able to work because this string of LED LED fail open circuit and therefore no current will be able to pass through the entire lamp and and the lamp will never light up. So I hope you enjoy the video. Comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.